Today we talk about bamboo fiber. Every now and then when you go shopping, bamboo fiber pops out and people think to have discovered a fantastic new and ecological fiber, but they've just discovered hot water. Don't be bamboozled by websites and brands that sell you fabrics made of bamboo, but the reality is that bamboo does not exist, or at least it exists, but it's just used for hats manufacturing to feel like a ninja for a while, or it is eaten by those fluffy animals that we call pandas. The reality is that bamboo fibers in textiles does not exist. Let's see that more in details. The first problem is that bamboo fiber is not a recognized fiber. There is cotton, silk, wool, kapok, but no bamboo. What the hell is kapok anyway? Sometimes I hear people around saying, Alberto is not possible, my mother has just purchased a t-shirt made of bamboo. Uh, not true, what your mother has purchased is a t-shirt made of 100% viscose made of bamboo. But to be preciser, there are two ways to process bamboo. Bamboo fiber strips, Fiber obtained mechanically. These strips are indeed mechanically processed and used especially in China or in Japan for hats, worn mostly by farmers and fishermen for protection from the sun. Then we have bamboo fiber viscose. This fiber is obtained chemically. Extracted from bamboo is suitable for processing into viscose that can be also made from cellulose from other sources. 99% of the bamboo fibers out there come from this bamboo viscose. The reasons are many. Bamboo strips can be also processed for textiles, but they are too strong and rough and the hand is really bad. You need too many chemicals and water to give bamboo strips a good hand. In other words, it feels like wearing a grater. Bamboo is a plant that is used for viscose production since it's an infested plant, doesn't require much water and doesn't require very much pesticides. Furthermore, it grows super fast. In fact, bamboo plants can reach 40 meters and require one third of water compared to a conventional cotton plant. Imagine taking cellulose from other plants like maple or hawks. Such a waste. And since pandas don't eat enough bamboos, we can help by producing viscose made of bamboo. If you have a t-shirt made of 100% bamboo, the correct labeling is indeed 100% viscose from bamboo in the brackets. There are copyrights on this such as Tambu cell and Eco Bamboo, but it's always specified viscose made from bamboo pulp. Bamboo fiber has several perks. It's breathable, for example. It's elastic has a nice hand, it's biodegradable, that's why it's very much used also nowadays. Okay, now that we know something about bamboo fiber, the question remains, is it ecological, is it green? The answer is, as usual, it depends. Bamboo plants require less water and less pesticides compared to other plants, but the processing to make viscose is extremely polluting. You must use carbon disulfide and caustic soda, which are, let's say, not that green. Furthermore, processing bath cannot be 100% recycled, so the problem of chemicals is still evident. Now that you know how bamboo fiber is produced, don't be fooled by t-shirt made of bamboo or t-shirt coming from trees because it's viscose. A lot of people think that if there is a tree, it's sustainable. It's not that simple, unfortunately. And now you know it. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, I am at disposal naturally. And as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.